This video is created by Nihar Dash from YouTube. This video is created by Nihar Dash from YouTube. 14 different types of dragonflies written by Nihar Dash for public domain purpose of amazed by these spectacular and colorful insects. Discover the different types of dragonflies and learn some interesting facts about them. There are over thousands of species of them, and it will be fun to know about their families. Dragonfly with beautiful wings insects rarely ever make in their place in anyone's list of favorite creatures. The animosity towards these creepy crawlies doubles when it comes to flying insects. Why is that so? That's because flying insects are downright annoying, and they can buzz and bite at any given time of the day. But that's not all. Some of these pests also happen to be harmful as they spread dangerous skin allergies and illnesses, and one of them happens to be the topic of our blog which is dragonflies. One Ishnoidea The first super family of dragonflies is Ishnoidea which consists of five dragonfly families, discussed in detail below. However, one of these dragonfly families, Actosiidae, has gone extinct. Petalridae Petalridae Dragonfly Apparently, these dragonflies happen to be the oldest in the world and came into existence some 150 million years ago. Owing to their long straight tails, Petaluridae is commonly known as Petal Tails. History shows that Petaluridae originated in what is known as New Zealand today. Unlike most of the modern dragonflies that spend their initial growing period in water areas, Petal Tails prefer to live in fen habitats. Moreover, these dragonflies also take ages to grow into an adult. Petaluridae consists of 11 species, and the largest of all is the Australian Petalura ingentissima, which is known to have over 160 mm long wingspan and 100 mm body length. There are some more common species found in Australia, such as Petalura gigantea, referred to as giant dragonfly. This family is comprised of five genera. 2. Eschnidiesnidae dragonfly Commonly known as hawkers, these dragonflies are common in North America. This type of dragonfly is believed to be the largest dragonfly found on planet Earth. These dragonflies commonly mate during flight and lay in water or somewhere nearby. Their larvae are thinner in shape than other species of dragonflies. The genera found in this family are considered to be the fastest flyers among dragonflies. A few genera in this family are as follows. 3. Gomphodidragonfly ready to fly commonly referred to as club-tailed dragonfly these species belong to the Odonata order. It is a huge family, consisting of around 900 species and 90 genera, the majority of which are found in North and South America, Asia, Europe, and Australia. All the species belonging to this dragonfly family have small, widely gaped eyes, a characteristic common to damselflies and pedaluridae. Their eyes are generally green, blue, and turquoise in color. Unlike other common dragonflies, their bodies do not look metallic, and they have a toned-down hue to avoid instant recognition. This dragonfly family has the following genera. 4. Ostropetalidae Close-up of Ostropetalidae Like other types of dragonfly families, Ostropetalidae is a small family, consisting of only four genera. They are typically found in the water regions of Chile, Australia, and Argentina. These dragonflies boast a medium or large body, are brown in color, and have silvery white to transparent wings. The genera consist of the following dragonfly species. 5. Cordylegastroidae This super family of dragonflies consists of three families as follows Cordylegastroidae Petalridae dragonfly on a branch belonging to the Anisoptera suborder. Cordylegastroidae consists of one genus and nine species, found in the eastern and western parts of North America. These dragonflies are regarded as burrowers and sprawlers as they burrow well deep into the substrate, allowing only their head to be visible. In addition to substrates, these dragonflies prefer to go hiding in the sand or small streams. The majority of these species live about three to five years, spending most of their time flying, in seasons like spring to early summer, and laying eggs. Male species exhibit extreme territorial behavior which is unlike their female counterpart. The females usually lay egg deep into the bottom by trapping air bubbles through their hair and body. Cordylogastridae happens to be opportunist feeders which mean that they will catch any prey within their hole. Oh, any of the ways to distinguish Cordylogastridae from others is by pointing out their distinct physical traits. These flies possess large black and brown bodies with a hint of yellow color. Also referred to as flying adder and biddy, this tiny family consists of only four genera which are as follows. 6. Neopatelia pinctonia Patelia pinctata dragonfly This type of dragonfly is considered to be the only family member of Neopetalidae. 
these dragonflies are popular in Chile and Argentina. Unlike other types of dragonfly families, these species only have a single genus known as Neopetalia. 7. Chlorogomphidogomphi This is a small family of dragonflies that belong to the Anisoptera suborder. This unique group of dragonflies is comprised of the following four genera. 8. Corgelidae Corgelidae, dragonfly like other long-bodied dragonflies, Corgelidae has short and broad bodies. Their head lacks a frontal horn which is usually between antennae base. Furthermore, they feature small, yet smooth lobes. Belonging to the Odonata order and Denisopetra suborder, this dragonfly species is also known as emerald dragonfly. The reason they are called emerald dragonfly is due to their green eyes. These dragonflies are commonly found in areas like cool ponds, swamps, marshes, and little areas of lakes. Some of these dragonflies are seen in the debris accumulated around small streams. The most common genus of this family is Tetragonuria, found in the northeastern region of the U.S. such as Florida and Texas. On average, their life cycle lasts two to four years in the northern region, while they have a shorter lifespan in the southern region. The females lay their eggs in small streams, and their larvae live in shallow water and shoreline. However, studies show that numerous generations of Corgelidae die in the same location, as of their birth which is water stream. It is believed that adult Corgelides are active during the afternoon, and their mating and feeding schedules depend on the amount of sunlight they get. Please note that Corgelidae are carnivorous and feed on small metazones and protozoans. However, as these flies begin to develop, they start feeding on larger species such as Microcrustacea. These are some of the most common species and are spread worldwide. That being said, some of the species are quite rare. For instance, Heinz emerald dragonfly, scientifically known as Somatochlora hanina, is said to be an endangered species in the United States of America. 9. Libellulidae Libellulidae, dragonfly also known as skimmers or perchers, Libellulidae is considered to be the world's largest dragonfly family. Research shows that this dragonfly family consists of approximately 1,000 species which makes it one of the most diverse dragonfly families. Most skimmers in this family boast small to medium-sized dragonflies. Some are very colorful, while others exhibit distinctive wings. The majority of the skimmer species are perchers, minus the saddlebags and gliders. Depending on the type, the abdomen of a skimmer is either thick or super thin. 10. Macromyidae Macromyidae, Dragonfly This is the dragonfly family that consists of species like skimmers and cruisers. Their most notable features include flying high over water and roads and landing in the exact middle of them. Their size and shape are similar to Eshnidae, a common species of dragonfly. However, what sets them apart is their green eyes that hardly meet the top of their head. Consisting of 25 species, Macromyidae are considered as the subfamily of Corgelidae, green eyed skimmers. Macromyidae is divided into three subfamilies, which are as follows 11. Zintamistidae Zintamistidae, Dragonfly, commonly regarded as tiger tails or southern emeralds, Scythemistidae has about 43 species. These dragonflies bear a lot of resemblance to species like Credulate and Gomphid dragonflies. Sometimes, this family is regarded as a subfamily of Corgelidae due to their similar characteristics. Tiger tails is considered to be one of the ancient dragonfly families, the majority of them residing in Australia and New Guinea. Generally, most species of Synthematistidae are smaller in size and have a slender abdomen. Their habitat includes water areas like small streams, lakes, and ponds. 12. Darners Darner Dragonfly commonly described as large with a black body and blue spots, Darners belong to the Eshnidae family. They widely occur in and near streams, lakes, and ponds of the United States. The family consists of about 40 species, which are further subdivided into 13 genera. Darner species are slightly different from each other. However, many of them share plenty of common features. Most males display striking blue dots on a dark shaded abdomen or thorax. On the other hand, Females showcase the same features and hues like green and yellow. These species are also void of thoracic stripes on both top and bottom which makes the identification of these species easier. 13. Zedlebid Saddlebag Dragonfly Also referred to as the Black Saddlebags, the saddlebag is found all around the U.S., Canada, and south of Mexico. Research shows that these dragonflies are commonly found on the Caribbean and Hawaiian Islands. For habitation, they opt for slow-moving and fish-free water with lots of vegetations. 
These are some of the hundreds of dragonfly species that migrate from time to time. In spring, their offspring settle in the north, while in fall, these dragonflies move toward the Atlantic coast or the shore of Lake Michigan. The idea you know that saddlebags are known as dancing gliders as well. That's because they carry out their courtship and lay eggs by dancing. It is believed that male saddlebags approach their female counterparts and roam around them. Then, they slowly grasp them by their head and thorax with their legs. Black saddlebags happen to be quite effective in controlling the spread of mosquitoes. Studies reveal that black saddlebags can eat up several species of mosquito larvae, devouring almost 38 larvae in just two days. 14 gliders Gliders in the sky commonly known as Pantala flavicens, the globe skimmer, wandering glider, and globe wanderer, gliders are the most widespread dragonflies in the world. One of the ways to identify a glider is through its bold yellow-colored body. The creature has a dull yellow face which eventually changes into reddish color in males. The thorax happens to be brown with no spots. In the males, the wings display brown apices, while their legs are predominantly black. When carefully observed, their mid-dorsal stripes are black in color, that widens and up to 8 to 10 millimeters in length. Like the majority of dragonflies, gliders prefer to live in temporary or permanent pools, ponds and all other bodies of water. The naiads prey on a wide range of aquatic insects such as mosquitoes larvae, mayfly larvae, fly larvae, shrimp, tadpoles, and small fish. On the other hand, the adult gliders...